happy Tuesday to all of you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there. Hope you're having a good week so far. And yes, we're streaming on Tuesday. That is going to become a regular thing as we cover the Newswire and then check out everything the Newswire is all about today in Red Dead Online on the PC. See, uh, <laughs> the Therius, this is some Harry Potter type shit, I, I, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> but hi, everybody. How you doing? Let's see, Connor, that's right, we're doing a stream today, and that's going to happen on every Tuesday going forward. We'll see how it works. Let's see, you're getting banned. What's up? You're getting banned. Let's see, Ben's here. Hello, Ben. Fashion's here. Hello, Fashion. So, what I've decided to do, I'm, I'm making some changes to the channel. I mentioned it yesterday. I'm going to make a video. I'll post it for Wednesday, uh, elaborating further. But we're going to live stream the event weeks, the Newswire. I'll read over it. And then we'll jump on the PC, we'll check out what the event week's about, just to get a better idea whether it's like uh, new clothing, uh, new animal, etc. Discounts. And uh, that's how we're going to do it going forward with the event week. And I'm going to do my best uh, post-stream, whenever it's a video, to timestamp everything. So if you just want to know what the event week was about, there, click on the timestamp. If you want to check out the uh, hunt, which is today going to be the Shadow Buck Hunt, it's the new sighting mission. Uh, you'll be able to just timestamp it. So that's my plan going forward today. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. Let's see, Wolfwig. What's up, Wolfwig? How's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Let's see, Connor. See, that's right. Every Tuesday, that is the plan. We'll see how it goes. Now, on regular Newswire event weeks, I will probably just stream on PC because it's easier for me to do both, show off the uh, event week and us read over it together so you can read it while I'm reading it. And then jump into PC, then uh, trying to do it through the PS4, Xbox One. But whenever we have like a, a new update to the game, that's when we'll be on PS4. Because PS4 is my primary character. That's where most of my money and gold has been grinded. So I hope that makes sense. But glad to have you all here on this Tuesday. Let's see. Hello, MVP. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, uh, Serene. How you doing? Good to see you. That's right, Dr. Anarchy. We're doing... A Tuesday stream going forward, covering the event weeks. Previously, I would do it as videos, but the videos only talk about the information and instead of actually going into it. And I always wanted to like further elaborate on it. Like, uh, for example, there's a new sighting mission, the Buck Hunt. Now, I have been doing previous hunt missions separately, but I'm merging those hunt missions into these videos. Well, as well as we can, because sometimes... When these animals are free roam, it's kind of hit or miss about whether or not they spawn. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. Brian's here. Hello, Brian. How you doing? Okay, so now that you're all here, we're going to go ahead and go into the newswire. Then we'll come back to the wall. Then we'll kick off the uh, rest of the stream. These are not going to be long streams, by the way. Just, you know, maybe hour, two hours at the most on Tuesdays just to go over the basics, what this event week happens to entail. Let's see. All right. Are we good? I think we're good. All right. So anyways, let's go over the Newswire. By the way, Newswire linked in the description section. Feel free to check it out yourself. Like I mentioned, we have a new sighting mission, the Shadow Buck. Rumors abound in Ansberg about the mysterious Shadow Buck. So it is a sighting mission. You can do it through Harriet, so that's pretty awesome. There's also the Buck Vitalism Studies. We'll find out more about that during the stream. And a new Hardcore Series. We might check that out. We'll see how it goes. I'm not the best at, uh, well, the PvP, but I do love the new Hardcore series. I think that's really good for people that actually want to PvP and not use any of the nonsense like uh, the Dead Eyes, Explosive Ammos, Ability Cards, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so uh, there are some rewards depending on how you take down the Shadow Buck. I think since I'm still working on ranking up Emmett McFly, my PC character... I'm trying to keep him on the good side of Harriet for now until he reaches rank 20. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, hunt down and sedate the Shadow Buck and take a sample. And if you choose to do that, then you're going to be rewarded with a free vest of your choice and 100 rounds of set of ammo for your next expedition. However, if you wish to kill and skin the Shadow Buck, you will receive a reward of 100 rounds of express repeater ammo. Let's see, Belfast is here. What's up, Belfast? So, once again, if you choose to kill it and skin the Shadow Buck, you can take it to Gus 
and uh, he will uh, purchase the pelt from you. Then he will craft you the shadow coat. And that's something I'm definitely going to do for Wolfus overall on the PS4 and add it to his collection. And if you decide to craft it, you will also receive a free bandolier to go with it. So those are the rewards. Here we go. Moving on to the new thing. This is basically, I guess, peyote plants, but they're, they're drip feeding these in to uh, Red Dead Online, the Vitalism Studies. We'll check this out after we do the Animal Sightings mission. Science is oftentimes stranger than fiction. After the recent discovery of a new herb, a Harrietum officinatus, okay, Miss Davenport believes she has uncovered a way to experience the life of a humble buck. Naturalists who follow the steps in Harriet's uh, gratis buck uh, vitalism studies pamphlet can discover how to have this truly out-of-body experience and also receive a reward for a free treasure map. So we will check out what that's all about as well. Uh, see, Phoenix, it looks like a smaller version of the black elk. Uh, the katad elk, the horns actually look better on the buck garments than the uh, elk ones. These look more like size appropriate. Um, let's see, speaking of that, let's go there real quick. So this is basically what the antler ones look like for the uh, katada elk. They should be a little bit bigger. So just going off a little uh, topic real quick. But I definitely think the uh, the buck garments look a little bit better. better much better. They should be bigger, the elk ones. Let's see, Tank Buster. What's up, Tank Buster? How's it going? Connor's here. I think I mentioned Connor. Hello, Connor. You got mentioned again. Naturalists must be ranked five or above to uh, inquire about Harriet's knowledge of vitalism studies. So once again... This is, I guess, similar to the Pieto plants that uh, periodically appear in uh, GTA Online, except for they're being dripped in. So you're not going to have a ton of animals right away that you can uh, turn into. This week, it's all about being a buck. Next is a new hardcore series, hardcore takeover series. This will be great for all of you that are into PvP, that actually like to PvP and not use all the you know, ability cards, dead eye, explosive rounds. Hardcore takeover series, be precise, receive a reward for a free hat of your choice. So, uh, there you go. That is the hardcore takeover series. We may check that out near the end of the stream. There are some discounts as well. 40% off all outfits, off-hand holster, gun belts, and 30% off all repeaters. So, if you've been looking for a brand new repeater, then it's 30% off. And uh, once again, outfits, off-hand holsters, gun belts, 40% off. Let's see, Ard, yes, I'm live streaming on Tuesdays now. We are live streaming the Event Week Newswire, link below in the description section. And then we're going to go into the game, and we're going to check it out. Free hat, free hat, <laughs> right? Free hat. For all of you with uh, Prime Gaming, the Ard is formerly known as, uh, what, Twitch uh, Prime, you still have a chance to uh, claim these rewards. Most of you probably already have as well, ready, for those of you that have uh, Prime Gaming linked to your Rockstar Social Club. Five free legendary animal pheromones, 6,000 nationalist XP, free wilderness camp, the free katata coat. Now you have to actually go hunt the katata elk. So you actually have to go hunt it, then kill it, then skin it, then take the legendary elk hide to Gus, and he will craft it for you, and you will get the free katata coat without having to pay for it. If big fat if you have the Prime Gaming linked to your Rockstar Social Club. In addition, players who connect their Prime Gaming before September 14th to the Rockstar Social Club will receive a free uh, itch eye coat made of the finest boar hide five. Rewards for free box of Nitro Express ammo. Reward for 50 rounds of sad environment cartridges. So that is everything when it comes to Prime Gaming. One thing some of you have mentioned is where are the Rams? It has been over a month, Rockstar, since you added the Rams as an early access legendary to PS4. So why have they not arrived on PC or Xbox One and Stadia? I didn't want to forget Stadia, but that is a very good question because... We were talking during yesterday's uh, Monday stream on the Xbox One with uh, Void Amy, and that was a big question that was coming up, like, why haven't the Rams arrived yet? And truth be told, it's been a month, and they were early access, so therefore, you think that by today, those Rams should be available, but I don't think they are. Maybe they are. Maybe Rockstar just snuck them in. I don't know. If anybody on PC or uh, Xbox or Stadia have found the Rams yet, let me know. But you think they would make a big to-do about that, but obviously they didn't. So once again, before we get going, let's see. We got discounts, 40% off all outfits, off-hand holsters, gun belts, 30% off the repeaters. We have a new takeover series, Hardcore Takeover. Hardcore! And you can get a free hat out of it. <laughs> free hat. 
The vitalism studies, we'll check this out. Uh, you can uh, be a buck. You can transform into a buck. So we're hunting the shadow buck. We're going to sedate it. Get the sample to Harriet since we're on PC with M.M. McFly, my PC character. And then we'll do the uh, vitalism studies. And once again, you have to be rank 5 or higher to uh, do the vitalism studies. I guess they're drip feeding that out. The uh, shadow buck, you can either sedate it or kill it. It's a sighting mission, so it's way easier to get than uh, the standard free roams. Even though the, the free roams have been a lot easier lately, I've noticed. And the lobbies have been smaller, which I've also noticed and I've quite enjoyed. So that's a good idea of what the shadow buck is going to look like. What we can do is we can actually uh, get a better look at it. So I, I think it looks really nice. I like the dark black pelt. I like the black antlers. It's size appropriate, unlike the elk antlers, which should be, like I mentioned, a few dozen times a, a little bit bigger. All right, so you have a choice. You can either uh, kill it, skin it, sell it to Gus for him to craft the shadow garment, the shadow coat, and you can also get a free bandolier of your choice by doing so. Or if you want to just sedate it like we're going to do today, you will receive a free vest of your choice and 100 rounds of set of ammo. And uh, if you kill it, you also get 100 rounds of express repeater ammo. So I guess you could go and go about it both ways, I suppose. So there we go. The shadow buck is the new animal this week dripped out along with the naturalist studies. Once again, the uh, newswire link below in the description section. We're about to get started. I see Tank Buster, that's right. Gerald, what's up? How y'all doing? Good to see you. I appreciate all of you being here. We're about to get into this. Every Tuesday now, going forward, we will be live streaming the Event Week Newswire, then going into the game and checking out what it entails. Like I mentioned, I do appreciate you, my awesome viewers, subscribers, fans. If you're enjoying the stream, if you like the new direction, a like would be greatly appreciated. We're also appreciative of our Super Chat heroes with their fedoras, because Mafia Defend Edition is a few weeks away from coming out. And our members, by the way, our members mentioned right now in the present tense as you're watching unless it's in the future you could be watching this in the future when it's a video hello future how you doing let's we'll see members include azralin oliver king acg along with paradise gamer rain fan vet antonio mike lambert and the elite members of the golden camos yuji outlaw belfast gamer who's in the chat twitchy and of course, honorable mentions to our junior members, Tokyo Tent, Dirty Gecko, Dars Gaming, Pepe, Con Connor, and Dr. Anarchy. Connor, Dr. Anarchy, junior members also in the live chat today. Junior members, members, elite members, and super chat heroes for September 2020, going above and beyond for the Go Burns Nation. So far, this hasn't been a complete train wreck, this new style. I hope y'all like it, though. Plus, we can interact and stuff, and there's anything, you, you, any questions you have, Regarding the event week, I can always answer that question during the live stream. So that's what we're going to do first. First and foremost, once the game loads on the PC, we're going to go after the shadow buck. We'll, we'll hunt it down. We'll sample it. We'll take the sample to Harriet. Then we'll move on to the vitalism. We'll check that out as well. So how's everybody's Tuesday going? See, so Tank Buster says, let's see, it looks like I have a lot to catch up in Reddit Online. Well, that's good. That's actually a good thing, Tank Buster. There's actually content for you instead of nothing to do. I see Belfast. I don't know why. That's a mystery why the lobbies are the way they are right now, but I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Bagman's here. What's up, Gooey? How you doing? And I see Wolfwig also. I hate griefers, too. Uh, what do I think of the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S prices, Brian? I guess they're about on par. I feel like the uh, Series S is very low, so I, I think I'd probably end up getting the X instead of the S. So that's probably the choice I'll be going. I'm not going to buy their console, by the way, right now. Like the Xbox Series X or the PS5 at launch. I'll see the point. Maybe in a, like a month or two later. We'll see how it goes. But is anyone else planning on buying the next-gen consoles at launch? Whether it's Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S or one of the two PS5s. Because there's two different PS5s. There's the, the one that you can uh, put a disc in still. Then they have the uh, what complete digital one. I think that one's going to be a little cheaper. Let's see, Dr. Anarchy, you see, you can't go too far with the animals, you just, you turn into, oh, you can't? Well, that sucks. Well, we're, we'll check that out, Dr. Anarchy, Man, that's dumb. Like, in, in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is obviously an older game, like, you can, like, OBS, OBS, stop, be, stop misbehaving on me. OBS, stop it. <laughs> Let's see, Kenneth says, no, you can't. Well, that's, that's crap. Oh, you mean, no, you're not getting the, uh, the next-gen consoles. Well, that, I get that. I get that. But either way, like, if, if there's, like, a range to the animals in the vitalism studies, 
Uh, pay, pay to plan 2.0 for Red Dead Online. That sucks. That'd be sweet. Like, imagine being a buck and just roaming all the way across the map. Seeing how far you could get. I wonder if, as a buck, you would get hunted down by wolves and cougars and bears. Oh, my. Because, technically, they would still identify you as a player, right? So, they're still going to try and hunt you. That will be interesting. Let's see. Ben's going to be getting the PS5 100%. Cool. I just don't really have a desire at the moment to get either of the new consoles day one. I mean, my, my mind might be changed before then. You never know. Yeah, your mind can be changed and altered. It can happen. Through, through knowledge, through learning things, through trial and error, through uh, brainwashing and uh, programming. All that good stuff. Okay, so we need to find the closest convenient Harriet stand. Or at the very least, we need to... Let's see, where is her nearest one? Alright, so I guess it's glowing, glowing yellow because of the nonsense, the vitalism studies. I hate it when you're in a situation and you're like right in between two fast travel posts. Well, technically three. Valentine, Strawberry, Rhodes. I wonder if we can do better. We might be able to do better. Let's get a camp to spawn. Let's see, Dan, uh, with the physical edition, you can still get the digital games, I think. Well, that's good, Dan. And hello, Dan. How's it going? All right, so let's go uh, do the Shadow Buck. And then after the Shadow Buck, we will try the uh, Vitalism Peyote Plant 2.0, whatever the hell it is. All right. Come on, Emmett and Galaxy Traveler. Off we go. First, we're going to hunt and sedate the Shadow Buck. And then we will become a buck. So, they're drip feeding these, instead of just throwing them all out there at once, which I think is stupid. I mean, it's just drip feeding going crazy, right? They, they drip feed clothing in this game, and they, they drip feed, like, uh, Pieto Plant 2.0 animals. And apparently, according to some of you, like, there's a range to them! Like, come on! A range? Like, I want to roam the Great Plains. I want to roam Heartlands. I want to roam up in Amberino as a buck looking for a doe to call my own. Or a herd of doe. <laughs> hey, a buck is not a one doe buck, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, yeah, fashion. I think that's why the icon is glowing to indicate that there's something new going on with Harriet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to fast travel to... Which one's close? Oh, we'll go to Hennig instead. Which makes absolutely no sense since I just put the camp over here, but whatever. <laughs> but first, let's have some uh, stew. I, I need some of that delicious stew. I got my coffee also. So here we go. Get to the fast travel post. Oh, it's, it's over there. Alright, pardon me, Emmett and uh, Einstein. That's why I named the dog. Because, like, Emmett McFly's, like, for Back to the Future, right? Named after, like, uh, Marty McFly and, uh, like, Doc Brown. It's, like, uh, Marty's grandson. And he named him after, uh, his, his Marty Jr. named him after uh, Doc. Okay. So we're going to Hennigan'sted. No, we're going to go to McFarlane. Yes. In Hennigan'sted. So I wasn't entirely wrong. Six dollars. Let's see. Yeah, Connor, I'm gonna probably do the same thing as wait for the mid-gen upgrades. I think that's probably gonna uh, wait a few months. Let's see, Lewis is here. Hey, Lewis, how you doing? All right, so we're gonna go uh, hunt the elusive shadow buck. It is a new animal sighting mission, and it looks really good, but unfortunately, I'm just going to sedate it because I'm still trying to rank up Emmett on the PC. Wolf is on the PS4, though. He's ranked up. He don't care. He's going to add that Shadow Buck to his collection probably later on today. Off stream, of course. If there's no mid -gen upgrade. I mean, uh, what I mean by waiting is I want to wait for, I guess, to do, uh, like the next production line. Like, this is like the, the, the launch production, right? Of the uh, Xbox Series X and the PS5. I'm going to wait a few months and let them work out whatever issues that are probably going to be in both and then I if there's like more enticing games by then that interests me into upgrading then I may do it because I don't think that Red Dead Online is going to be so Red Dead Online is not going to be on next gen right away if it even ends up being on next next gen I don't know maybe it will maybe it won't let's see Eldavo I'm gonna play through the story again because I'm bored hey Eldavo well I hope you enjoy playing through the story okay so apparently this is going to cause a cutscene 
So it's cutscene time. She, she better not spray me. <laughs> she sprays me, I swear. I swear, Harriet. I'm gonna throw some coffee in your face. See how you like it. You know, this connection between us, it's developed into something quite powerful, don't you think? There's no connection between us. The majority of people go through life believing they see everything, when in fact, they see almost nothing, confined by the limits of their own consciousness. Hmm. Just imagine if you could scurry as a possum, hop as a rabbit. <laughs> well, I've discovered an herb, scarlet and amethyst flowers. Harry Adam officinalis, who's <laughs> what I've named it. If you can make contact with a vestige of the animal while ingesting the herb and truly opening your mind to its vital forces, you will be transported in ways you can't even begin to fathom. Trust me, this will open your eyes. Be free. Don't no, drink it, Emmett. What are you doing? It's not coffee. I wouldn't share this information with anyone but you. And everybody else that plays this game. I think you're ready. I have something to tell you. Explore, I, examine. I, I, I don't want you to tell me anything more. I'm, I'm, I'm freaked out here. Let's see, Rubes. Yes, I remember you. I remember you, Rubes. We're on the PC today, and every Tuesday going forward, we're going to be live streaming the event. Wink. We'll go over the newswire like we did a moment ago, and then we dive into the game and we check out what the newswire, the event week, is all about. UGLO, you just woke up. Uh, you, you're woke now. I see how it is. <laughs> Now you're going to go broke. <laughs> Just kidding, Yuji. All right. Let's go after the shadow buck. We're going to do the shadow buck first. This is the new animal well, sighting. There's some new buck out there. Yeah. I could use some fresh deer samples. All right. I need to check some through real quick. I need to make sure I got enough sedative rounds because we are sedating it. Because, like I said, I'm still trying to rank up Emmett on the PC and Paula Janine on the Xbox. How much? Uh, looks like. Oh, we got a reward. I, I will take the reward. Okay. Hell yeah. Give me that reward. Give me that reward. With these. They can be oh, did I get ripped off? I think I just got ripped off. I got ripped off. I should have saved that. My bad. Simple enough, then. Erica, I don't know why we drink that. I, I don't know what... Emmett, what were you thinking drinking that? Like, what's wrong with you? Are you a simp for Harriet, dude? <laughs> I'm not. But maybe, maybe, maybe old Emmett is. I don't... Hey, I'm not judging. If the rumors are to be believed. There's not a new wolf out there. I think it would be worth the risk to Lies. Let's see, MVP, what's your three? Yeah, I heard about that. That's pretty sweet. Like, so CD Projekt Red has a free upgrade for next gen, which is awesome for Witcher 3 fans. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know if it really is going to look that much different, though, to be honest. It's still a good-looking game. But the fact that it, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be forwards compatible is awesome. It sucks that Rockstar and Take-Two are not going the same route. All right, here we go. Mission time. Millen's murder for hire business continues to grow. I should pay someone to kill him. What? Of course. I would never sink to his level. It's just the greed and arrogance of that man. These are sentient beings with complex emotions. Oh, such a struggle sometimes. But I was hoping you'd come by. A man was telling me he was in Annisburg recently and overheard some loggers there talking about a very unusual looking deer. Sounds like maybe a shadow buck. Worth some further investigation, at least. Together, I know we can do this. We can't give up. The shadow buck. See, Ben, you're not really excited for the uh, cyberpunk. I'm. I'm gonna wait till people actually get to play it. Play it. And if it gets good enough reviews, I mean, I'm not really into first-person games as most you know. I mean, I do play a few like Skyrim, Fallout, Fallout, Far Cry Five. Most of the time. It's all about third person. I'm just preferred third person. It's just everyone has different perspectives. This role will end with you either killing Harriet or Gus. Nah, I doubt it. I mean, she shouldn't be like that to Gus. He's going to save her one day and then she's going to fall in love with him and they're going to get married and be uh, uh, Mrs. Harriet uh, McMillan. Davenport McMillan. There we go. Uh, yes, Yuji, we're just going after the uh, legendary buck now. It's a siding mission, so you just have to go to Harry and hope she doesn't spray you. And you can either sedate it or you can kill it. We're going to sedate it because I'm trying to rank up our boy Emmett on the PC. 
Yeah, I mean, she does have a, a proper uh, high-class society upgrade bringing to her fashion. She just needs, uh, like I keep mentioning, just a bath. Okay, we're on. A, we're close. We're close. Like a bath, a, a manicure, panicure, maybe maybe a, go to the salon, get her hair did. She got herself fixed up a little bit. She'd be all right. All right, come on, Galaxy Traveler. All right, we may have a spot to like a uh, set of rounds. Okay. Oh, it's a cougar. It, it a cougar. Well, it's okay, kitty kitty. I, I got medicine for you to help you uh, sleep. Sleep. Not perma sleep, because then Harriet would spray me. Alright. Uh, pal, what are you doing? I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Cougar! Cougar, calm down. Calm down. Alright, strength, just strength, strength. Right, let's go get Let's go get the uh, samples. Bonus sample! That's it, kitty. Sleep it off. You'll be fine. Now, Rubes, I don't remember you from yesterday, as I did not mention that a moment ago. Rubes, who are you? I, I've never met you before in my life. I don't know you. Who are you? <laughs> you must have a really bad delay, or else you stepped away right when I acknowledged your existence. But hello, Rubes. Again. <laughs> and yes, I do remember you, but please don't ask me again. Do not ask me for a third time. Okay, so we got to search for signs. I saw the sun. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. All right, where, where the fuck? Okay. All right, I know I hunted the, the. We gotta get this done before the kitty cat wakes up. Probably won't take long. Just sleep in the rain, kitty. It'll be fine. Um, where are the blues clues at? Like, is the cougar supposed to be the uh, the clue? I don't know. This isn't going so well. I'm kind of concerned about that cat waking up. <laughs> I am. We're running out of time. It's going to wake up. It's going to get me. I, I don't know. Where, where the hell are we supposed to go? Uh, the garment does look good. We, we saw an image of it earlier in the Newswire portion of the video. The stream. Whatever you wish to call it. It'll be a video eventually in the future. Yes, I do. Rubes, I do remember you, dude. I do remember you. <laughs> oh, it's behind me. Uh, you know, there's a delay fashion. I'm like, I it just... Eh. That's okay, Rubes. It's fine. No worries. No worries, but I do remember you. I remember most people. I have a good memory most of the time. All right, so, see, the thing is, when Fashion tells me it's behind me, what he's seeing has already happened. Stay asleep, kitty. Don't wake up. Uh, all right, so I see this. So this is for the cougar, right? But the cat's already, we've already uh, given the cat some NyQuil. There's a flower located here. Okay, well, I don't think the flower has anything to do with what we're doing right now. All right, so maybe. So here's the thing: like this is where the cougar was, and the cougar doubled back and tried to have a, a nice, delicious lunch, but it didn't go so well for it. On the left of GT. Ah, uh, oh, well, there it is. There. Oh, there. Okay, there it is. All right. Well, we finally found it. I knew I'd find it eventually. Now let's uh let's investigate this before the cougar wakes up. If I'm being honest, I'm surprised the, the cougar hasn't woke up yet. I'm glad it hasn't, because I want to get the hell out of here before it does wake up. It's not going to be happy. Nope. Alright. Uh, where's the... Oh, there, there, okay. Light kind of... Alright, so down we go. Remember, we are only sedating this thing. Don't worry, Wolfus won't be... He'll be perma-sedating it. <laughs> But Emmett here, he's trying to rank up the role. He's trying to stay on Harriet's good side for now. Let's see, Terminator. What's up, Terminator? How's it going? We're on the hunt for the, the shadow buck. Hey! Hey! That was rude. That was rude, partner. How dare you shoot at me? Uh, 
I didn't get anything for my trouble. He, he nearly killed me. He nearly killed me. All right, so we're going around. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I, I, I guess uh, we're dismounting here, Galaxy Traveler. Uh, try and follow me and don't fall. Oh. Hey, man, what are you going up here for, you fool? You're going to kill us all. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the gun's fine for right now, Erica. It'll be fine for now. But you're right, uh, eventually we will have to clean it because the set of rounds are crazy. They go to this thing like some players. Let's see, uh, BRT, what's up? Alright, shit, shit, shit. Just creep, creep down, creep down. Right, is it down there? Seriously? Are, are you kidding me? It's over there. I, I go all the way over here for nothing. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, for leading me around the waterfalls. You know what they say, don't go chasing waterfalls. Well, we're going good so far. Glad to have all you here. We're just uh, doing, doing our thing. Going for a little slide down the hill. So, yeah, the, the paw's over there. Like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's that's what that is. Okay, my bad. False alarm. That's not that's not the buck. So we were we were doing the right thing. Emmett, I swear, Emmett. Come on, Emmett. You got you got to do a good work here. Got to do a good job getting this shadow buck. Everybody's counting on you. I mean, there at least is some effort to this one. I mean, unlike what the. Uh, the banded gator and the milk coyote, those two felt like they were really half ass. I'm not I'm not trying to be too critical about it, but they were very easy. It didn't require uh, a lot of effort to do either one. But this one actually is a little a little bit of a chore. I mean, you want some challenge, you know, you don't want it to be impossible, but you also like to have a little challenge. That way it feels somewhat rewarding at the end. Okay, that's where it's going. Okay, okay. All right. All right, keep going, Emmett. We're getting close to our quarry. Aha. Hey. That's my shadow buck. Stay away from it, you filthy, stinking poachers. Oh. Hey, hey, scum. Scum. Die. Yes. You will not kill the shadow buck today, a holes. Right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Where is it? Oh, it's this way. Shadow buck, come back! I'm I'm here to save you. I'm actually I'm not joking. Freaking wolves, piss off! Does the shadow wolf? I mean, the shadow uh, buck have the ability? To like send things after you. All right, cutscene time. Near the crater. Oh, it, it came from beyond the stars. It's no ordinary buck. It's a buck from another world. Dun 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 dun. dun. Insert cheesy '50s sci-fi music. Fat, what's up, Fat? How's it going? We are on the hunt for the shadow book. And we have found our quarry. It's gonna make, make a nice cow. Yeah, for Wolfus, but for Emmett, um, nah. I'm just gonna trank it. Because I'm trying to uh, stay on uh, Harriet's good side and, more importantly, uh, get Emmett dead with this roll. That's it, Buck. Just, just go to sleep. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, Buck. You'll be fine. I saved your life, and I just want a, a small sample of your extraterrestrial buck blood to give to Harriet. That's all. It is a beautiful looking buck, I'll say that much, with the black coat and the black antlers. It is going to look nice on uh, Wolfus. See, hey Kane, how's it going? Alright, so take a sample of the legendary. Alright. Let's see, you will need five Harriet official flowers. 
Oh, okay, MVP. That's what you were talking about. Oh, it's only five of those. Ah, well, I guess that's next on the itinerary today. So we got a sample for Harriet. So I'm guessing that it's up there somewhere. But I think first and foremost, we're going to have to go through... Uh, where's that pamphlet? Okay, here's the pamphlet, the vitalism studies. We're moving on to vitalism studies now. All right, so there we go. Phil Diary and Notes by Harriet Davenport. Vitalism Studies Buck. I wish there was like an audio option where she would just read this to you. I see. How can we hope to attain the truest appreciation of nature? By embodying it. To experience the swiftness and freedom of the buck, elation beyond my dreams. And yet, it was no delusion. This was a crossing of minds, unity, and at last, such an unfathomable connection. There is one location where I feel... Uh, close to the splendor, there will there with five samples of the Heritage Officialist the weed, the Peyote Plant 2.0. I commune with the buck once more. Okay. It did, fashion. It did. It, it came in on the asteroid that hit that area, that impacted that crater. Okay. Yes, we know, fat. You're happy that the buck is here and not the legendary bears, but don't worry. We're gonna get them legendary bears eventually. So, the question is, like, they, they're not going to just simply spawn on the map. You have to actually go and find them. Oh, there's 35 locations? Okay. So, it was over here, right, by Madame Desire? I think so. Gizmo! What's up, Gizmo? How's it going? So, according to uh, MVP, these new uh, flowers, the, as we're going to call it, the peyote plant uh, 2.0, yeah, it is uh, 35 locations. And, yeah. We gotta find five of those plants. Yeah, Erica, I don't know why the Rams are not in, in uh, Xbox or PC yet. It's been a month since the update, and that's when traditionally the early access content finally makes it over from PS4 to Xbox One, PC, Stadia. I honestly have no idea what's with the delay. That content should be in available now. It's not reasons, but it's been a month. So I guess uh, take it up with Rockstar. Say, hey, what what's the deal? What's going on? Let's see. Chat and a collector's map has locations of the 30 Harry official flower. Oh, they they do. Really nice. See, Doctor Anarchy can't wait on a legendary bear. Yuji's waiting on the moose. The moose is loose. You're driving a Mamba. Well, uh, congratulations. You're driving a car from what? Didn't the Mamba come out with this, the heist update? Isn't that right? Wasn't it the Mamba? Or am I wrong? Alright, so I think up here is where MVP said one of the flowers is. And then then we're going to go grab that, collect, that interactive collector's map. Because apparently they've already put the flowers in. Yes, yes. Hello, Madam Nazar. How you doing today? Hashtag uh, Nazar for life. Team Nazar for lovely music. All right. So, is the flower gonna like glow yellow like uh, collector plants? And shouldn't it like vibrate or something? Uh, December twenty fifteen. Oh, that's when the well, I had the year right. I had the year right, so Mamba came out in 2015. Ah, so I think it's over here. I think it's over here. The yellow hues. I recognize that. But is it a peyote plant? Or it's not. It's uh, just a thing. And oh, I'll take it, though. That's left of the N and O in Roanoke. Okay, let me let me uh, waypoint that. Let's waypoint this. Okay, so I got another collectible I can eventually sell to Madame Nazar. How convenient it's right by her. But I'm just going to hold on to it for the time being. Okay, so. The N and O. So, like, right here. Left of the N and O. So, like, here? Or here? Let's just go right. Let's go over there. It's not a big deal. It's not that far. Let's see. Gizmo, early access page to PS4 players who play by the 15th. Yeah, you, 
you could be right, Gizmo. Maybe you're right. Maybe that's where when they'll put it out. Maybe next week. I hope so, Gizmo. Because, I mean, I think in all fairness, I'm not a fan of the early access content, as most of you know. And I, I play on all platforms, so it's not like I'm sitting here whining. Like, oh, it's unfair for PS4 players. No, no, I just think it's dumb. So it's, it's obviously a money thing. Like Sony giving uh, Rockstar take two some dollars. And uh, that's why there's early access content. Can't wait to be a bear. I don't, I'm sure you can't. But now we're trying to become a buck. Wherever this flower is. I had a false alarm a moment ago. I thought that that was where the flower was. Is it? Does it actually? I mean, like I said, does it? Hello, raccoon. How you doing? First flower. Yeah, I'm. I, I know. <sighs> Shit. Where? Oh, where? Is it? I mean, I. I we're by the end of the O. See. I mean, you said to the left, and no, that's to the right. I'm a fool. <laughs> South of Lazar. South of Lazar. What? So it's supposed. To, it's over here, right? It'll be over here. This is right. That's left. Or camera left. Camera right. I don't know. All right. So let's back it up. We'll go the other way, and we'll see if we can find a peyote plant 2.0. Why do you have to collect five of them? That's so silly. They're saving the last legendary for last. Exactly, Lewis. Exactly. The last legendary animal will come out last. That is some words of wisdom. Three moose, three panthers, three bears. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Is there three more panthers? Or is it two more panthers? Am I just missing it? Like, seriously? I think I'm missing it. Well, here's the thing. Like, the last three have been drip fed. Like, one gator, one coyote, one buck. Near a tree that has the collectible. Well, I was just at that tree, though. I was just at that tree. I didn't see it by the tree. You know what? We're, we're going to get the interactive map out. Screw this. Give me a minute. Uh, let me hit, pause. Let me hit the old pause button. Let me get our trusty... Uh... Alright, I'm going to move this over to the side so I can read it easier. And uh, go to bookmarks. Grab the interactive map. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, we're where, oh, where? That's a fossil. I'm trying to see where the new icons are. Where are they? Oh, that's just collector flowers. So you said they were in the, that interactive collector map. I'm looking on the interactive collector map. I'm not seeing. Maybe I have to. Legendary animals. This is a pain. Where, oh, where is it? Um, wildflowers, fossils. I don't want fossils. Random encounter, treasure maps, legendary animals. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on the interactive map. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, Lewis, I think that's how it'll work. See, Erica, you don't want to turn into a buck. Why not? You have some sweet-looking antlers. Be pretty sweet. All right. So I think uh, that tree was over here, right? Where? Okay, that that's the stump. Yeah, that's the one we got the collectible out of. Maybe it's like RNG, right? Like, where it's supposed to appear for some people, it's just not appearing for me. There's a snake. I didn't know snake was here. <laughs> oh, is that, is that it? That might be it. Ah, that... Oh, that's not a peyote plant. Let's have a look at this real quick. Might as well look at it, right? Give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, where's the lane? Ah. That's a metal detector. Where? Are they? No, I, I don't want my metal I want my fucking lantern. Galaxy Traveler, I need my lantern. Give me my lantern. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Can you buy the map? Uh, um, they're talking about that interactive map that they they have out there. All right, so this is what the plant looks like. In case you're wondering, it does it will glow a slight yellow. So there's apparently 35 of these scattered throughout the map. You'll need five of these to get uh, the powers of the buck. So let's grab this one. Uh yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five had the peyote plants. And that's why I was calling this jokingly peyote plant 2.0, but it clearly doesn't look like a peyote plant. So we have one. We need four more. See, it's on the Red Dead Online map at the very bottom under links. Okay, thank you, Scott. How's it going, Scott? Let me look. Very bottom. Read the map's wiki. I'm still not seeing it. So we just got one up here. But I'm not I'm not seeing the icon up here. I'm obviously I'm missing something. Red Dead Online map, map wiki, report issues, join their Discord. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, show coordinates. I'm trying, I'm learning to read. Reading is important. I'm reading through this whole silly thing. So I scrolled all the way to the bottom, I didn't see it. I'm like, this is ridiculous, I can't find it. Uh, nice rack. Thanks. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got one. We need four more. I'm still having trouble finding it on that interactive map. So if anyone else is having better luck, you can you can just tell me in the live chat where to go, and I'll go there. Bye, Mazar. Click on links on the map. It should take you to another page. Okay, let me try it again. Let me try it again, Scott. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, thanks, Scott. Okay, that's what you do. Oh. Alright, so that means there's quite a few nearby, actually. Now I see it. By the way, I'll, I'll send you guys. I'll post it in the live chat for y'all to check out. In case you're wondering what the big to do is, there. The interactive map. Flowers are in random encounters. Oh, they are, Chatney? They're also in random encounters. Okay, cool. But you can also just use this map to go find them. So, where, where's like a whole bunch of them at? Uh, where can we find a ton of them? Uh, I guess up in Big Valley. So I'm going to fast travel back to Strawberry. Or better yet, I'm going to move my camp to Big Valley and then we'll just fast travel to Big Valley. So I think that'll work. Yeah, Scott, the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. Yep. Alright. Location. Alright, so. Big Valley. I'm going to move the camp to Big Valley. And then we're going to fast travel to Big Valley. And uh, there's quite a few flowers over there. Alright, so we'll go back down this way. Yeah, yeah, I know MVP. I just don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like being up here in Roanoke Ridge. It's just not my turf. It's not my turf. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so I think we'll go to Big Valley. Let me move the live chat over there. Okay, so I can just read chat and talk to y'all at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go. We're gonna go over there. Uh, Captain Nat, I found one flower, thanks to Scott's help and MVP's help. We gotta go find four more before we can use, uh, the powers of the, of the buck at our disposal. Yeah, I'm just, there, you know, there's some areas of the map you really like venturing around, then there's some areas that just doesn't work for you, it's just not your, your thing. Like, Roanoke is not really a place I like to be, it's just not for me. 
So I'd rather just go somewhere else like Big Valley and get the, the flowers there since there's flowers scattered all over the map. Once again, the interactive map uh, follows Scott's instructions and it should be able to help you find those uh, flowers as well. They actually are flowers. I don't think that's a peyote plant. Didn't look like a peyote plant. Yeah, game MVP. Yeah, this area does kind of give me the creeps. Alright, so we need four more. Then we can uh, harvest the power of the book. So I guess every week they're going to drip feed out another one of these things. I guess what you probably want to do if you don't want to have to do this all the time is you probably want to be out collect you want to collect as many I don't know how many flowers can you guys hold I mean what's the max you can hold of these things five dollars it's ridiculous I'm gonna drink some coffee it's already cold how can I already be cold boo it's not cold cold but it's not warm anymore okay where oh where so we're here on the map. So we're up here. Just south of uh, the Little Creek. Where's the, I think there's a flower over here. If I'm right. I think it's right below Creek. Alright, so you think we can carry up to 30? So that's what I would do. I would, I would go out... Even after you become the buck and you're just adventure life as a buck. Like for the future. Because they're going to drip feed these. And obviously it's going to be the same requirement. You're going to have to use. Uh, what, what's the interactive? What's going on here? What's this about? Oh. oh I'll, I'll keep moving. There. There, I moved you both to your graves. Actually, I'll just let the wolves eat you. I think this is a poppy thing. Open the chest. I don't think I got the poppy uh, pamphlet yet for... Yeah, I'm going to take that. Emmett, we'll use this. Much appreciated. We'll use it. All right, you have 25 now. That's good. I think that's the good strat, Captain. After this, is just a stockpile on these flowers because you know they're gonna do the same thing with uh, other animals, probably to various degrees. Like some of them will require less, some of them will require more. But as long as you have some on hand, that means you don't have to go hunting for them because you already have a, a bushel in your bag. So that's what I would do if you really want to get into the vitalism every week because I'm sure there's going to be one that, that drips a little drip here, a drip there, drip everywhere that's right I got the I got the poison poppy random just like right there, isn't that funny Connor how it works, you look for it and look for it and you never find it then one day it just pops up for you for no reason it's kind of like the legendaries, the legendaries have been working a little bit better lately Darian, what's up, Darian? How's it going? Tank Engine Jr. is here. Greetings, Tank. How you doing? Ah, there it is. Okay. All right, so we're on the look for, for these things. Uh, Harriet's new flower. All right, so we got that one. The next one, according to the interactive map. Let's see, Connor, when I encounter those whispers, I'm like, nope, got to get out of here. Nice and quick. Yeah. yeah. Anytime I hear whispers, I wonder, A... Is it in my head? Have I not had enough sleep lately? Or B, is it something else? And if it is something else, it's it's time for me to go. Okay, so I think that's where the next one is. Okay, I'm going to go there. You're doing good today? That's good, uh, Darren. I hope you're all doing good today. We are on the hunt for some flowers so that we can transform into a buck. A buck with massive antlers. They're going to be huge. All the does are going to be impressed. They're going to be like, whoa, look at that buck. Like, check out the antlers on that buck. Oh, my. Red, what's up, Red? How's it going? Uh, rocks. Rocks are in my way. 
Alright, so I think the next... We'll just... You know what? When all else fails, just take the road. Take the path before you. I know the, I know the uh, urge, the desire to take shortcuts is there. Sometimes it's best just to stick to the road. So we got two of these silly flowers. Harriet. Like, I was calling them peyote plant 2.0, but they clearly... They clearly don't look like uh, peyote plants. Alright. Let's see. I think it should be in this area. We're getting close. Like, gamer. What game? Why are you taking me all the way over here? Game. The game is just taking me somewhere I don't even want to go. I'm just trying to get peyote plant. Or flower. A Harriet flower. Alright, later, Connor. If you're enjoying the stream and if you like the new direction, we're going to go on Tuesdays with uh, doing the event week live, going over it in the newswire at the beginning. And then later on, checking out what's in the newswire, what it's all about. Uh, feel free and leave a like. Uh, Darth Polvin, um, are they rare? No, there's 35 of them scattered throughout the map. I did post a few minutes ago an interactive map in the live chat. Just scroll up and grab it. And, uh, let's see. But you need, you're gonna, first you'll need to go to Harriet. You have to be rank 5 naturalist or higher. And then you'll, there'll be a cutscene, and, uh, she'll give you a pamphlet. She'll make you drink something. And for some reason, you just drink it. Like, hey, I'm just gonna drink this. So, the other flower should be over here. But I don't think they have a... Uh, like a chime to them or a vibrating thing. You just have to look for them. That's so kind of annoying. Alright, I'm going to look at the map again. Let's see. Dark Matter Wolf, what's with the server size? Uh, why, why is it so small? I don't... That is a good question, Dark Matter Wolf. We really don't have the answer for that. Okay. Looks again. Look. Is it? Okay, so I think we're nearby, so maybe it's like back this way. Alright. Where are these flowers? Why do I have to have five? When you watch next week, I'll I'll completely forget. There's another freaking interactive over here. These dynamics are distracting me. Oh, oh, it must be a treasure hunter. Oh, yeah, it's a treasure. I'm gonna let's go over here and say hi to this treasure hunter. See how they're doing. Oh, hello, sir. Hey. You get out of here, right? God damn. I will as soon as I uh, take what's rightfully mine, asshole. Thank you. <laughs> mine. He was distracting me. For the record, if he would have just offered to sell me it, I would have been happy to give him five dollars. But he threatened me. I was threatened. I had to defend myself. Uh, yeah, Darth Polvin, I'm trying to find uh, the flowers. You need five to do this thing. You got the coffee? Yeah, I got some coffee too, UG. Yeah, I'm not all about the energy drinks. My energy drink is coffee and tea. I'm old-fashioned that way. <laughs> All right, so that distracted us a little on our quest for this flower. All right, Dark Matter Wolf. Okay. It's got to be nearby, according to the map. Flower, where are you? I need you. I don't have time for chipmunks. It's a bit harsh. She threatened me, Eric. I, I felt scared. I scared. I was threatened. I was just walking up to him being all friendly. And he, yelled, he told me to get out of here. What do you mean get out of here? This is this is like open land. It's not private property, mister. You don't own this land, sir. 
These lands belong to all of us and to nature and to the wildlife that roams here. The land was here before us and it'll be here after us. So he, he was... He had to be cancelled. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never really liked the energy drinks. I've tried them before. I just... Ugh, the taste. What I'm not liking right now is like I can't find this... Allegedly, there's a flower. Let me scroll. Let me scroll in on this map real quick. All right. So according to the map, it's like specifically right here. But I, I mean, I've been roaming around this spot. Must be. Oh, is it right there? Ah, it is. Okay, good. All right. So three down, two to go. All right. So we got that one. Next on our itinerary. Got that one. I guess. Uh, I guess we we'll go to that one. A little further up. Just it's right at the border. All right. So it's uh, by the square. Don't be such a square. All right. Let's hope that that works. Let me get this set back up. Because I, I want to be able to look at the map and interact with y'all at the same time. So I'm multitasking. All right. So there we go, Galaxy Traveler. That's where the fourth flower is. And once we get the fifth one, then we're going to do the... I guess we'll do the... Well, transform Autobots. And then we'll have ourselves a nice Beast Wars, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why people drink that stuff. I have no idea, Erica. People just... I guess they want to get that energy. I'm good. I just, I just drink coffee. Coffee and tea, please. All right. All right, this way, Galaxy Traveler. This will be the fourth flower, then we will have one more flower to find. Then we shall transform into a buck. And apparently there's a range to the buck, which is kind of sad because in like... GTA 5 and GTA Online when it comes to the animals with the peyote plants. You can just travel as far as you want as long as you don't get killed. I mean, once you get killed, then you can then you transform back. But apparently there's a range, sadly. Which I think is bogus. Yeah. Come on, Galaxy Traveler. It's just a few rocks. No big deal. Not a big deal. Ah, oh, there it is. And they do make these challenging to find, don't they? Because, like, your controller won't vibrate. You don't hear a chime. It's just, it'll, it'll glow a, a little gold, a, a little yellow. Yeah. So it's kind of annoying. All right, so we got that one. We need one more. So where is the closest one from where I'm at? I guess we'll take the, I guess the train line? No, we'll take the train line. Yeah, let me look at that. Hold on. Let me uh, scroll up. All right. All right. I'm scrolling in. I want to try and get almost a precise spot. So it is. I think it's right here. Okay. So I think that's where we need to go. So we're going to head there. Is it time limited? Um, I the peyote plants are time limited in, in GTA Online. They only bring them back every now and then. I don't know if these are going to be time limited. Uh, see, I think this is the right way to go. Yeah, that's the right way to go. We're just going to risk it on the train. Oh, do, do y'all remember this specific spot? Those of you that played Chapter One probably do. You remember. If you don't remember, then uh, you need to play uh, Red Dead Online. It's great. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright. So, I don't know if this is going to be time limited or not. I really don't know. I mean, maybe it said it. And maybe I missed it. Alright, so there should be a fifth one down here. Was this the fourth one or fifth one? Or is it the, the 37th one? I mean, look in the, I'll look in the satchel. The satchel should tell me how many I have now. 
Alright, let's look. I got five now. Okay, we got it. We got five. Alright, cool. And I didn't kill an animal for 24 hours, so that's that's a bonus. Oh, being being an animal has a time limit. You can only be here for five minutes. That's lame. Alright, so we have five flowers. We have the pamphlet. So I guess now we can transform. Do we have to go back to Harriet or do we can we just do it like right here? Right here and now. Can we just do it here? Without putting it off any longer. Is this a good spot to be a buck? Is it a new spot? I mean you wanna be in a good spot where we can find some does, you know. Hell yeah. Find those. Alright, so go to the satchel. Alright. Nope. Raid. Five samples. So I guess you... Do you just take it... I guess you take it back to her, right? Okay, there are five... Or does it now tell you the location? Will location now pop up on the map? Where you're supposed to go or no? Alright, let's just go back to Harriet. Let's go back to her. What a great idea. Uh, thank you, Gizmo. You see, uh, Emmett McFly is a man of style and class and elegance. He likes to dress his best when he's out in the uh, West. <laughs> that was some sweet rhymes. So you're not going to bother with the animal changing thing? It's only for five minutes. Well, I'm just doing it because why not? It gives us something to do. Try it out. See if we like it. You have to go to a special tree. But where's the special tree at? All right, so we, we're heading to Big Valley. So that's where the special tree is, Erica and Rainbow Dash. Okay, good, good. All right, we will find the special tree. So you can only do it in like a specific spot, like Big Valley for the buck. Well, that sucks. You can't just go out to Henniganstead or the Heartlands. Little Creek. Well, it just so happens, Kenneth, that the, the camp is by Little Creek. So we're in luck. This works out perfectly for us. All right, Chatney. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for pointing that out. Uh, Yuji, can other animals hurt you if you're an animal? Probably. The other question is, will predators come after you? And the other question is, can I survive five minutes as a buck? There are so many questions that we have. You planning to say hello or just trot by? I'm trotting by, yeah. Trotting right on by. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I gotta, I gotta give you some samples. Hold on. While we're here, I have some samples to drop so, off. Did you find it? I did. I found everything and All more. Right, let's see what you have for me. There you go. Amazingly adaptable creatures. Thank you for the risk you took in getting this. Well, at least I, I got a thank you. Is that where you got the inspiration? Uh, what what inspiration? For 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 what Gizmo? Nah, he's named after uh, Marty McFly and Doc Brown in Back to the Future. But Ghost in the Dark, this is a great movie, yo. It's a lot of effort just to become a buck. Is that the tree? That looks like a special tree. I don't know why, but I'm drawing this tree. Is this, is this the tree? I don't think it is. I think I just walked. I just came over here for no freaking reason. All right, so we are on the little creek. So I guess we'll venture down a little. We'll see where you guys said. Uh, where were we? Uh... A little creek, big a tree, and big valley outside the ranch. Okay, so we're we're near the ranch, so we'll we'll go this way. Is it a unique tree? Will we, will we know it when we see it? I don't know. Feel like the times I've been knocked down by some random animal that actually rocks our employee. <laughs> Maybe, could be. It's somewhere near the water. Well, we are near the water. Down by the water. My question is, is it like a unique uh, tree? Is that the tree? 
No. It better be an awesome looking tree, and you better know it when you see it. Like, oh, that's the tree. Or is it, or is it that? I think it's that tree. It's that tree, right, guys? Spotty, easy with eagle eye. I'm using eagle eye, though, tank. I don't, I don't see it. I'm assuming it's this tree over here, because this tree does kind of stand out, and it's been, I know it's been in the game forever. I'm assuming it's this tree. Of course, I've assumed that before. Is this the tree? Am I wrong again? Story of my life. Oh, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes, Fed. Okay, so you can be a buck for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes of being a buck. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's where it is. Alright, are we ready? Autobots, transform! Beast Wars 2.0, Electric Boogaloo. Num, 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 num. Now we can be a buck. So you can only go to like one specific spot. That sucks. You can only be for... It's it's in a range and it's a time limit. So that's, that's unfortunate. I'm a buck. The buck stops here. These antlers are pathetic. I'm only a, a six-pointer. I want to be like an eight or a ten pointer, damn it. How disappointing. The, the doves ain't going to want nothing to do with me. They're like, ah, you're just a little six pointer. Go away. Go away, you little six pointer. Alright, so we're now a buck. I'm a buck. This is... I always want to be one of them sweet looking bucks. You know what I'm talking about with the big giant antlers. Massive. I'm just a... I'm just a young buck, basically. All right, let me find some action. Let's get some. Let's get some. Yeah, pronghorns. Hey, look, I don't discriminate. Come here, pronghorns. Come here, ladies. How you? How you? That ladies doing? Oh wow, they, they're just ignoring me. They're like, go away. Like, we want nothing. A, you're not even our species. Wow, that's that's a uh, species. Okay, and uh, you're not even uh, you're not even an impressive uh, buck. Well, I'm trying to, but I'm only a six point. Oh, oh crap! Oh shit! That's a big boy. Hey, you want to be my best? You want to be my? Uh, he might be my dad. Father? Are you, are you my father? I'm like Bambi, you know, and I don't want I don't want to spoil it. But yeah. Father? Are you my papa? Are you my father? Father? Are you gonna teach me the ways of the buck? Now see, see this is a Chad right here. That's a Chad. Like I'm, I'm just a little. I'm just, I'm like his son, father and son. See, together again. What was Bambi's dad's name? I forgot his dad's name. The GB Buck. He's like, come here, son. I will, I will show you the ways of the buck. So it is interesting. Like the animals treat you like you're an animal. They don't run away from you. I'm not gonna ram him. He's my, he's my pa. He's my father. Father and son. Wow. Dad, will I one day have nice massive antlers like you? Maybe one day, son. If you don't get shot or eaten by a bear. He does, Erica. I mean, that's because he's older, you know. He's, he's my pa. He's, he's been around a little longer. He, he's, he's earned them antlers. He's grown some nice antlers over the years. See, as they age, uh, fun fact, uh, Buck's grow more antlers if they get older uh they they get they go from like being like a spike to like four point to six point eight point and sometimes if if uh they're like live long enough then they get nice big old rack on them you had xp for kill i wasn't gonna kill my father kenneth he's my father now here here's an enemy elk dun dun this is so silly. Can I, can I, oh. Ah, oh, come on, game. I can't even, I can't even fight that elk. I wanted to fight. I have bears eat a little bit more than fish. They're omnivores, but they do eat other things. This is, I will say this is, this is kind of cool. 
I don't know if it's really worth uh, the hunt for the five uh, flowers to be a buck for ten minutes. Like, is there anything else that you can do as the buck? Yeah, Tank, that, that other buck was a Chad. Can I... Oh, you can't, you can't, like... I can't do that. I will find someone else to ramp. Ch drink water. My connection's ending? No! Well, game MVP, I'm too far away from Harry to run her over. Kill buck, you... I don't want to kill the buck. Alright. Can I drink some water? No. Uh, how do I drink? How do I drink? Oh, okay. You scratch with uh, B on the Xbox controller. Drink. Drink the water. Yay, I can drink water. I'm amazing. Alright, so you ram with the right trigger. Ram Gus. No. I can't even go over to Gus. Alright. Let's find, uh, is there a male pronghorn we can go after? Or, no, there's only females over here. I'm going to find me a male. I'm going to take out, I'm not going to, let's see. Nope, F females, females. Oh, there's a horse. I'm not going to attack a horse. They'd probably kick my ass. Oh, uh, there's a male. Come here. Come here, asshole. Fuck you. No! Ah, oh, damn it, he got me. <laughs> right when it was ending. Right when it was ending. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> That pronghorn buck kicked my ass. So you have you have you have buck is is male, right? Doe is female, and uh, deer, pronghorn, uh, see elk, moose. I think some of you get it. <laughs> Amazing new red deadline feature: drink water. Let's see. Yeah, not worth the trouble. Yeah, I I, I gotta agree. Let's see, MVP says, this is the best Red Dead Online's team could come up with. Really poor. Even Bambi skating on ice in Ambrino would be better. Yeah. I, w I would say that the Peyote plants for animals in, Red in GTA Online, when they do randomly come back, way better because you don't have a time limit. You can roam around being a dog or a cat or, like, whatever else. A bird. You can even be birds and stuff. Guess I'd rather use the toilet. That's the toilet. All right, so we checked out the snow buck. We got the sample for Harriet. We got to do the scavenger hunt. So much fun. Hopefully y'all are not asleep by now. So that's basically what you gotta do. You gotta go look for these silly Harriet flowers. And then five of them allow you to uh, go to that tree over there we were just at and be a buck for 10 minutes. That was great. Riveting. 10 out of 10 IGN. Okay, so we do have discounts. We went over to the discounts earlier. But we also have, we also have, we're going to try the uh, new hardcore series real quick. We got to end up with some action, some sweet, hot action before we call it a day. But I do appreciate y'all being here. This is going to become a regular thing. As so he usually says, I honestly don't think it, being a buck is worth it. Yeah, especially with the time limit and the trouble you go through. All right, so we're going to go try out, uh, what is it again? Let's look. This is the new, the newest hardcore addition to the hardcore series. Let me look through the uh, thing real quick. This is Takeover Series. So hardcore Takeover Series now available in the game. We're going to go try it out. Let's see. John says, pretty poor changing into an animal and any fun factor is gone quickly. It, it, I agree, John. It's easier in GT Online because you have to go after a specific peyote plant. When you go after that plant, peyote plant and you eat it, you transform into that animal and you can be that animal as long as you want. You can run around being a freaking pug or a husky or a cat or a poodle or a bird. So I, I think it's done better in GT Online. Plus, it's too much trouble. Like Erica was saying, you, you go after you have to go get five of these stupid plants these flowers and then go to the specific spot you can only be at that specific spot and there's a range area you can be in and then there's a time limit I didn't want to do spoils of war I want to do the takeover series game lame okay this is on okay well, well I guess we'll do spoils of war real quick I don't know Get my ass handed to me once or twice. You could even be a chicken. Yeah, exactly. You'd be a sweet chicken. Bok, bok, I'm a chicken. At least I'm on the winning side. Yeah, my side's gonna win. I, you know, I helped. I helped. 
Oh yeah, I'll, I definitely will. It, whenever they do the wolf, I'm gonna do it. You wanna be a rat? Oh yeah, be a little rat scurrying around the place. That'd be sweet. Like, seriously, this is just... I, it's not even the one I wanted to do. I mean, I'm glad they have a variety to the, the hardcore series, but this is the thing I don't like about these. Like, in GTA Online, once again, I always compare them. I like the fact you can go in and you can s select a specific type of, like, uh, like mission or race or, like, uh, PvP action, uh, adversary mode that you want to do, and you don't have to go to all these random ones and, like, hey, I don't like this one. I think you can be a poodle in, in GTA Online. I think, Erica. I could be wrong. There's a lot of different dog breeds in GTA Online. Oh, it is part of the TakeOver series. I'm a moron. Uh, thanks, Ringable Dash. <laughs> uh, anyways. Never mind. <laughs> but yay. This was fun. This was a great match. I, I feel like I brought my A game here. What do y'all think? I brought my A game to this match. I think we did a good job. I think I think we could end this one on a W, on a win. I don't think I need to do another one. What do y'all think? <laughs> yep. Mm. Cold coffee. Why are you cold? You should at least be lukewarm still. Let's see, Serene, I never tried the Peter Plants in GT Online. It's it is fun, Serene, but it's time limited. It'll probably come back in a few weeks during the Halloween season. And GC Online, it's fun. I mean, they also have the Peyote Plants in Story Mode. It's very similar. It's just copy pasted from GTA 5 Story Mode to Grand Theft Auto Online. It is fun. My issue is, my issue is like, why does it have to be time limited? Why can't they just leave the Peyote Plants in GTA Online permanently? Yeah, they're not. They're they're like I said, they're time limited, Erica. They're time limited. It sucks. Take the W, GB. I did take the W. We won. Man, that was a good fight, guys. Good fight. Okay, I'll do one. I'll actually do one legit hardcore. Okay, I'll do one. Then, we'll, then we're done. Is there any other questions you have about the event week? Any questions? Comments? Anything you want me to go over once again before we wrap up? Okay, we'll do overrun. And then we'll call it a day. I feel like, in all fairness, I should at least do one. Yeah, I suck at PvP, but I said I would do a hardcore, and we should do, do at least one hardcore legit. Yeah, Serena, it's, like I said, it's a time-limited thing. They bring it back every now and then. They'll probably bring it, bring it back for the uh, Halloween season, hopefully in a few weeks from now. I would like for them to put it in for like a month, like starting like at the beginning of October. Just throughout October, you could just be a... Uh, just run around eating peyote plants. What is Rockstar smoking? That is a very good question, Erica. They're not smoking the good stuff, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. We're going to be doing this every Tuesday. The event. I hope you guys like this, this new direction. There's some other changes I'm making as well. I'm going to work on a video after the stream today. I'll post that at Wednesday and let you know the fall schedule, the fall 2020 schedule. What my plan is going forward with the channel into fall. It's almost fall. I mean, I like the fall. But the bug apparently likes cooler weather, so that kind of sucks. Good news, bad news. I see Tank Buster. I don't mind the open world PvP. It tends to be far more hilarious most times unless it's a modder. Yeah, and that's kind of the danger of playing on PC, uh, PC is the risk of modding. But I do... I do think that real mo real PvPers love the hardcore series because it's legit skill, right? Legit skill. Free aim. You have to use like regular ammo, not the explosive nonsense, no ability cards, no dead eye. The fall is the aut I guess y'all call it autumn in the UK. Fall, autumn, same same damn thing. Switch to my shoddy. Alright. This one is kind of fun. You kind of run. You got to take as much turn. I'm, I'm going to be the, uh, I guess, I'll, I'll be the runner. I'm going to be the runner. I'm the runner. Run till I run, run till I can't run no more. I got one. Fuck. I did get one, though. I did get one. 
I was being the runner, trying to get as much of the territory as possible before I, I game ended. <laughs> Y'all are like, wow, you actually got a kill on that. How are they winning? My sacrifice is in vain. Fuck. I got hit. I got hit. So that's that's autumn is basically fall. It's the same same thing. We're getting our asses kicked. How is this happening? Teammates, what are you doing? Why are you using a rope, asshole? That's that's a dick thing to do. You dick. Ah, we lost. Damn it! I actually got, what, three or four kills, I think. Surprisingly, I got a few kills here. Got a few kills. I know you are shocked. You're like, wow, how, how's GB doing this? Does, does he have some unknown hidden PvP talent we were not aware of until this point? No. I guess the, the hunting of the legendaries has kind of made me do a little bit better job of free aiming the shit. So I, I have been hunting a lot of legendaries lately because the lobby has been a lot more... It's been a lot better. I don't know why it's better, but I'm not going to judge it. He dead. I'm dead again. See, hi, Kari. I always like to just... See, I, I say your name, but at the same time, I'm saying hi at the same time. So it works. Uh, Gizmo, maybe, maybe for the next uh, Xbox stream, we may do that. Maybe we'll do that the, the next one. I, I do try to do more, like, uh, of these uh, PvP things. Especially the hardcore. The hardcore is good because people are actually using skill. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died again. Damn it. I, I think Yuji meant not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I think we're actually gonna win this time. Are we gonna win? Are we really gonna win this time? Really? I hope we win. I wanna be a winner. Ah, damn, I nearly killed him. Hey, we tied the ball game. Tied ball game. All right. Was this two out of three? I think it's best out of three, right? I think it's best out of three. Ah uh, yes, Ben. That's not the PS4 Xbox streams are not changing. Those are going to still be Saturday and Sunday. The big change, it, one of the big changes, move is I don't know. I may still do PC on Fridays as well, but we're going to be doing uh, PC event streams on uh, Tuesdays. I think it's going pretty good today. What do y'all think? Honest opinion. Do you like this new style, or you prefer just the video? I mean, I personally prefer it this way, but I also like your input. And I died in the water. Of course I would die in the water. Like I said, once it's a video, I will timestamp everything. So that those of you that watch it once it's a video, you can just watch the timestamp. Right in your junk! There. <laughs> oh, that's not a way to go. <laughs> that's terrible. Would you? I'm surrounded. I was surrounded. Oh, they're gonna win! No, we gotta, we gotta take it. Come on, push. Rally, rally. We gotta rally this shit. We only got like ten seconds. Come on. Oh fuck! They're rallying. They're pushing. They're the ones pushing. We got whipped. We got whipped. Something fires. Uh, hi, Kari. I'm not going to buy the next gens uh, right away. I got five kills, eight captures. I'll take it. Oh, it's first to three, not first to two. Okay, so we have a chance for a comeback. We have a chance. Can we do it? Come on, Purple Haze. We got to take out Orange Crush. Let's do it. Well, I, I know, I know, Gizmo, but I do like y'all's input. I like to know what y'all think. 
But your opinions do matter to me. Oh, and I died. Right, come on, we gotta tie this ball game back up. For force a game five. Come on, we gotta force a game five. Come on, Purple Haze. Force a game five. Ah, he got me. Wrecked. That's right, Erica. There's still a chance. I hope a dream. Ice creams. I'm not good at PvP. But I'm okay at it. I'm not the worst. But I'm not the best. He down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, Purple Haze. Keep pushing. Forward, march! We must push. Damn it. Come on. Oh, damn it. They kicked our ass. Oh, I thought we were going to win a round. I thought we were going to force a game five. Lame. Damn it. It's over. It's over. It's over. Well, I mean, they didn't sweep us. They didn't sweep us. So there's that. Let's see, Gambino. Hello, Gambino. How's it going? I got eight nuggets. Yay! Eight nuggets for my trouble. I did get a few kills and some captures, so... We got the L, but at least we tried and we weren't sweeped. There's that. Eh, I do like the hardcore series. Like I said, it's, it's for legit PvP players that actually want to PvP that... Don't care for all that other nonsense, the auto-aim, the explosive rounds, incendiary rounds, ability card, dead-eye nonsense. Yeah, we, we tried. At least we tried. Right, guys? All right. So I think that's it today. Unless you guys have anything else, like this is how it's going to work during the event week uh, streams. If there's anything else you want me to go over before we wrap up, I'm happy to go over it again. Only if you guys want me to. If you don't, then I'll just go ahead and start wrapping this thing up. But I do appreciate you all being here. It's going to be a regular thing on Tuesdays. Plus, whenever we have a new update, obviously we'll stream on Tuesdays. So Tuesday streams going forward. There's going to be other changes to the channel. Fall 2020 schedule video. I should have that out Wednesday, hopefully midnight central, 6 a.m. UK. And a little early access for my awesome members. That is my plan. And I do appreciate y'all being here. Let's see, Gizmo, our hardcore series is how it should have been. I agree, Gizmo. I mean, I don't even free roam's okay. I'm okay of it in free roam, but I think for all the PVPs, they should all be uh, hardcore because it's, it's a challenge. It's more fun. It's more satisfying when you actually get a kill. All right. Well, you're welcome, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and uh, appreciate you all being here as always. The likes are very helpful. They help the channel grow. Yeah, these uh, event week streams, uh, Fat, will be shorter. Usually like two hours at the most. Because I don't want it to stretch on too long. So, yeah. That, that's what... Basically, this is pretty much the way I envisioned the event week streams. Unless there's more stuff to do, then it, it depends on what's in the event week. And that will also equate to how long or short these streams last. So this is basically the ballpark. 90 minutes to, to two hours tops for the Tuesday streams. So, I think it went well. Not entirely a train wreck. I liked it. And obviously, I start to stream within a few minutes of the Newswire officially dropping. So, I started at 11 a.m. Central Time. It could start a little bit later. It could start a little bit earlier, depending on when Rockstar gets around to dropping Tuesday's Newswire. Once I get the thumbnail set up, once I get the live stream information calculated and all that stuff behind the scenes, pre-production... So it doesn't mean it's always going to be at 11 a.m. Central Time or 12, 12 p.m. Central Time or 10 a.m. Central Time. It's just as soon as it goes up and as soon as I got everything ready to go on my end, then bam, we go into the event week live stream. And like I mentioned, when it's a video later, I will have the timestamps for those of you that watch it when it's a video. And you can just go timestamp the event week portion where I read over the newswire and then the portion where we go after the shadow buck and the portion where we become a buck through the vitalization nonsense. I don't really care for that, to be honest. And it's even worse that it's freaking uh, drip fed. If it was like all the animals and that would just encourage you to want to go get all the flowers, I would do it anyways because then you won't have to get the flowers later when they drip out further animals part of this 
vital, what vitalism studies nonsense. It's Harriet. What do you expect, right? Anyways, thank you so much to all of you, my awesome viewers, subscribers. Thank you, Erica, for doing an awesome job as always modding. Uh, Darian, UG Outlaw, Gizmo, Fats, along with MVP. Who else was here today? Dan was here. Gambino was here. Hikari was here. Ben was here. Along with Tank Buster, Serene, Rainbow Dash, Tank Engine Jr., Ruben, along with John, Kenneth. Let's see, Fashion was here as well. Dark Matter Wolf, I think he was on his way to work. Who else? Uh, Chatney was here. Dr. Anarchy. Who else hanged out today? Who else popped by? Game MVP. Red was here. Connor was here. I think that's everybody. Not here. I mean, Scott Rayborn. Shout out to Scott Rayborn. You helped me out big big time, Scott. Big, big time. By the way, here's the interaction map once again in case you need it. Boom. And Lewis was here. I see Rubes was here. Kane was here. And, uh, Okay, well, uh, anyone else? Anybody else want me to say goodbye to you? Okay. Anyways, I do appreciate you, my awesome viewers, subscribers, fans. We're going to be doing this every Tuesday. The uh, event streams, I guess we'll call them. I don't know. But uh, article link below in the description section. And once a video, I'll add a few more things to the video portion of the description section as well. Plus timestamps as usual. And I always do appreciate my viewers, subscribers, fans. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome to subscribe. And our Super Chat Heroes for September 2020, they got them nice fedoras. Because Mafia Defensive Edition is only a few weeks away. And thank you so much, once again, to our Super Chat heroes, junior members, members, and elite members. Always greatly appreciated. Never, ever required. If you're new to the channel, I stream and cover Red Dead Online, GTA Online. And yes, you're back at the end, Kane. At the end of the stream, you return. So bye, Kane. Bye, Kenneth. So I stream and cover Red Dead Online, GTA Online, along with Mafia Defensive Edition. And coming up in the fall, a few weeks from now, or whenever it comes out, Ma, uh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Very excited about that. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome to subscribe. Join the Go Burns Nation. If you enjoyed the stream today, a like will be greatly appreciated. Let's uh, see, uh, Death Proof, we already talked about the violism studies. Uh, you have arrived at the very end. I'm sorry, Death Proof. It's, it's kind of like Paleo Plant 2.0, basically. It's just not as good. But anyways, we go over that earlier in the stream. Uh, bye, Jesse. Hello, goodbye, I'm wrapping up the stream. You guys arrived at the worst time, I'm sorry. But I'm glad you stopped by at the end. If you want, hit the like on the way out the door. <laughs> it will be a video, but we are going to be streaming this every Tuesday. So yeah, uh, subscribe, join the Go Burns Nation to be notified about future streams and content. Ring, ding the bell. You can also join us on our various socials like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I got a lot of pics and vids from my beach trip over the weekend over on Instagram. We also have an awesome Discord community. I hope you all have a fantastic Tuesday. The Shadow Buck is awesome. It's a beautiful looking buck. It's part of the uh, animal sightings. Uh, the vitalism studies is boring. It's so freaking boring. But anyways, I hope you all have a great week. And uh, as always, from me to each and every one of you, cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there, from the bottom of my heart, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>